okay good morning to all of you today we are starting our topic as the cultivation of the crude drugs are there so there are some points as factors affecting cultivation collection and processing collection harvesting then drying then garbling packing and storage of the crude drugs are there so here as this is the um, good slide as it shows there is having the different factors affecting the these are there so altitude then topography and the humidity humidity means the cold vapor percentage then rainfall soil and the fertility of the soil then use of fertilizers pest and pest control then uh, there is a plant uh, uh, harvesting is there then there is having the polyploidy uh, at the time of pollination then development of the green uh, manure effect is there and the harvesting is there so all these uh, steps they are uh, generally seen for the as a factor affecting then mostly as we are knowing there are the special attention for the cultivators are there so how is the altitude or the uh, temp temperature and the rainfall is there or the soil and the fertility is there right so uh, fertilizers pest control all these are there here uh, mainly all these character the for example altitude is there <clears throat> so altitude is related uh, with that of the uh, different cultivation methods for the crops are there then they increases the as altitude the temperature and the atmospheric pressure decreases and while the wind velocity, relative humidity and light intensity increases. Then uh, the climatic conditions are there, change the height and the, uh, it produces the change in the vegetation pattern is there. Right. Then uh, for example, tea or the cinchona is there or the eucalyptus is there. So they are cultivated at the uh, lower the altitude 1000 to 2000 meters from the sea level then common some uh, cardamom or the it grows at the height of 1000 meter cardamom means the lychee right then clove requires the 500 camphor uh, that is the kapur so these are the <coughs> greenhouse uh, effects and uh, zincona is there bark is there then for temperature effect and the humidity they are the another <clears throat> another major factors of the cultivation of medicinal plants so sudden decrease in temperature causes the formation of ice crystals in the intercellular spaces of the plants and which result uh, water comes out from the cells and ultimately the plants die due to the drought and the desiccation the rate of photosynthesis affected by the change in the temperature the rate of respiration increases with the uh, increase in the temperature humidity it is present in the form of water vapors when it is called as atmospheric humidity for example for cinchona it requires 60 to 75 degree fahrenheit one fahrenheit is equal to i think it is 2.5 degree celsius right coffee it is 55 to 70 degree fahrenheit tea 
70 to 90 degree Fahrenheit. So this is one of the important factor affecting. Then rainfall and irrigation. So except the geophytes, most of the other plants need the water. Um, therefore, proper irrigation and the sufficient rainfall is important. The rainforests are most important factors includes in the cultivation of medicinal plants. Therefore, the main source of water for the soil is the rainwater. As we are knowing, the rainfall and snowfall have a large effect on the climate condition. The water from the rainfall it flows into the river and the lakes and which percolate into the soil to form the ground water and the remaining gets evaporated. Then one of the important factor is the soil and the soil fertility. So we are knowing the soil is most important as a natural source to support the growth of the plant. While soil provides the mechanical strength, encourage as well the essential plant food elements for the plants. The capacity of soil to supply plant nutrient quantities and proportion required it provides the medium for the plant growth that is soil fertility. Here we are knowing there is having the, uh, the action of the soil and the climatic factors it effect on the plants and the microorganisms. The appropriate soil with nutrient organic matter and other elements ensure the medicinal plants grow of the uh, growth and the quality then soil types and the drainage system moisture retention fertility ph of soil 6.5 to 7.5 is acidic soil can be uh, limed or alkaline soils are reclaimed by the gypsum and the acidic soils are not suitable for the leguminous plants due to the poor development of the nodule bacteria so soil is carries the important then mineral matter soil air soil water organic matter that is humus and the soil organism so the, as per the our study the different types of soils we are knowing clay soil loamy salt soil sandy loamy and calcareous clay particles are size 0 0.002 to 0 0.02 millimeter loamy particles are mixture of clay and the sand 30 to 50 percent with clay then silt uh, soil the organic substances are others are there silt 0 0.02 to 0.2 millimeter with 20 to 30 percent clay sandy loamy uh, amount of sand particles are more and uh, calcareous soil rich and the nutrient elements so you remember these types of the soils properly the clay soils particles are very small they generally uh, fit together very closely and therefore give very less pore space soil pore uh, then spaces get filled up with water very easily and hence the clay soil becomes a quickly waterlogged therefore this soil known as a physiologically dry soil because plants growing in this soil are not able to absorb the water loamy soil it is mixture of clay and sand and uh, is known as loam and loam is very useful to the growth and it is fertile with the uh, because it contains available nutrient elements in the sufficient amount then silt it is to be fertile so therefore use of the soil sandy soil calcareous soil it is important calcareous shows the rich uh, with nutrient elements more than 20 percent loam in sandy soils the particles are larger and therefore they cannot hold the a large space which do not have the capillary action and so water is not retained by them and therefore uh, as the sandy soil is poor in the nutrient elements in the types of uh, soil containing 0.5 percent organic matter describe poor soil 0.1.5 to 5 percent organic is rich soil and uh, any type of soil 0.5 to 1.5 organic described as intermediate soil 
द सॉइल फर्टिलिटी जनरली बेस्ड ऑन न्यूट्रिय आर देर एंड इट्स प्रोपोर्शन सो देर फॉर इन क्रॉपिंग इज डन विदाउट फॉर्टिफिकेशन ऑफ द सॉइल विथ प्लान न्यूट्रिय द सॉइल फर्टिलिटी गेट्स द लॉस ऑफ फर्टिलिटी एंड इट कैन बी मेनटेन बाय द एडिशन ऑफ एनिमल मैन्यूर्स नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग बैक्टेरिया और बाय एप्लीकेशन ऑफ केमिकल और द केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर्स इन फर्टिलाइजर्स द एनी मटेरियल ऑफ नेचुरल और सिंथेटिक ओरिजिन अदर दैन लिमिटिंग मटेरियल अप्लाइड टू द सॉइल हेयर यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग द गुड फोटोग्राफ्स सो हेयर फर्टिलाइजर्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिय इफेक्ट ऑन द डेवलपमेंट एंड ग्रोथ ऑफ प्लांट सेकंड मोड इट्स द इफेक्ट ऑन द सॉइल मॉडिफाइंग वॉटर रिटेंशन एंड एरिएशन एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स इफेक्ट ऑन द मेंटेन द फर्टिलिटी इम्प्रूव द क्रॉप डेवलपमेंट सो ऑल दीज आर द फैक्टर्स इम्पॉर्टंट एंड बायोलॉजिकल ओरिजिन ऑफ फैक्टर्स मैन्यूर्स मैन्यूर्स हैविंग द थ्री टाइप्स द मैन्यूर इज द मटेरियल मिक्स विद द सॉइल एंड इट शोज द रिक्वायर टू द क्रॉप प्लांट्स राइट देन फार्म यार्ड मैन्यूर एफ आई एम काउडंग मैन्यूर और द पोल्ट्री मैन्यूर देन कॉम्पोजिटेड मैन्यूर ऑर्गेनिक नाइट्रोजन सप्लीमेंट बोन मिल फिश मिल एक्सेट्रा ग्रीन मैन्यूर नीम सीड केक और कॉम्पोस्ट और द ऑइल केक देन बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स दीज आर द बैक्टेरिया अलगी एंड फंजाय नाउ डेज दे आर यूज वी आर नोइंग द राइजोबियम एज ए टोबैक्टर मेजर न्यूट्रिय आर एन पी के नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस एंड द पोटेशियम सेकेंडरी न्यूट्रिय आर कैल्शियम मैग्नेशियम एंड सल्फर माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय आर बोरॉन क्लोरिन कॉपर एक्सेट्रा मैंगनीज एंड मॉलिब मॉलिबिनम जिंक इज देयर देन एलिमेंट नेसेसरी फॉर द प्लान ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट अदर्स आर देयर सो हियर अदर एलिमेंट्स आर कार्बन हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस कैल्शियम क्लोरिन कॉपर एक्सेट्रा सो ऑक्सीजन इट इज फ्रॉम द एयर एंड वॉटर फ्रॉम द एयर एंड सॉइल एन क्लोरिन फ्रॉम द सॉइल एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स आर देयर इन मेजर न्यूट्रिय एन पी के वी आर नोइंग सो नाइट्रोजन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फिगरस प्लांट फिगरस ग्रोथ फॉस्फरस फॉर द डेवलपमेंट फॉर दिज गिव द स्ट्रेंथ टू द प्लांट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दिस सो हर्ब शर्ब्स बल्बस प्लांट्स आर देयर एंड पोटेशियम जनरली ओवरऑल ऑन द हेल्थ ऑफ द प्लांट जनरली एज इन द डिफरेंट क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन सो ऑल दीज आर देयर then uh, in the pest and uh, this precautions control are there so fungal diseases then bacterial diseases are there and the pest are there so methods of pest control these are important all right so all these characters so chemical methods and these are there in the plant hormones development the <coughs> Uh, synthetic organic uh, compound in the small amount modifies the growth of the development and therefore it is uh, carries the importance so these phyto hormones based on the light so five major classes are there auxins cell elongation gibberellin cell elongation plus cell division translated into growth cytokines responsible for cell division and inhibit the senescence abscisic acid uh, abscission on the leaves and the fruits and ethylene uh, promote the senescence or the epinacy and the fruit ripening so all these points are related to our this topic factors affecting the uh, cultivation of the medicinal plants are there okay so remaining part we will see in the next lecture so thanks to all